battle over child vaccinations. An Oregon senator is pushing to eliminate non-medical vaccine exemptions is now dropping that bill. We found out today Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward, who is also a doctor, is no longer pursuing the legislation. So we sent our Amy Frazier to Salem to get answers. Bottom line, Senator Steiner Hayward tells me the bill didn't have enough votes to pass. So she's decided to go a different route to promote vaccinations. So instead of continuing a conversation that was focused more and more on right and wrong and personal issues, we want to return the conversation to child safety. Senate Bill 442 would have done away with non-medical vaccine exemptions for Oregon children. Oregon's exemption rate for religious, philosophical, and personal reasons is the highest in the nation, with kindergartners at 7%. The state's health policy board unanimously endorsed the bill, but it also drew a lot of opposition. The debate included vaccine safety. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. also met with Oregon lawmakers this month pushing medical freedom, saying parents should have the right to decide on the issue, an idea also supported by Senator Tim Knope of Bend. Well, I think dropping this bill right now was the right thing to do because the amendments they were looking to put in the bill were, I think, were an overreach and violated, I think, the rights of parents to determine what medical care their children are going to receive, and I think that was the biggest issue, which is an issue of freedom. Senator Steiner Hayward says she now plans to work on a new bill or amendments to a current bill. So we're going to be looking at other ways to address our low immunization rates that support parents' choices, as I've always wanted to do, um, increase informed consent, and look at ways to have schools engage in the conversations more as well. She says she'll push for immunization rates on report cards, as well as requiring parents to have a conversation with their child's health care provider in order to get a non-medical exemption. She also tells me that she and her children have been threatened over Senate Bill 442. She tells me that's not why she decided not to pursue this any longer. She says it makes her sad, but not scared. Reporting in Salem, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. And we'll let you know when and if a new bill is proposed and, of course, what it all includes. Oregon